Pretty sure that's what it was. Do I got an M4 upper receiver here? Oh, I do. So let me just like detach. This won't take very long, guys. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we could do it with uh, this one. And then I'm just going to use a regular buffer tube just out of curiosity. Or no, I'm going to use the STM, the STM, the STM tube, sorry. STM tube with um, the GL core. AR-15 pistol grip. Badger bolt. Riz rail. Longer, longer tube, gas tube. KAC con or KAC suppressor. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Wrong thing. Uh, this thing. MOE. M lock. Uh, flip up iron sights with the Bravo and the 60. So I think. Ooh. Okay. No, this is actually 49. So I guess the upper receiver is needed, or a di or or the advanced tube. Let me just try the advanced tube now. What does the advanced tube give me? I know, if, with this variation, the advanced tube is needed. So I guess it's like, pick your poison. Wrong flip up. I don't think there's one that gives me more. Because I can't put a flip up iron sight on the front. This one doesn't give ergo. No, no, this one gives ergo. Yeah, this would do it. Yeah, so this would be a gunsmithing build. Um, what about the other advanced tube? Does the other advanced tube do it? But I found the other advanced tube was more expensive than the red one, which is kind of weird. Not even kind of weird, really weird. Oh yeah, the other one, the other tube does it too. So either the regular advanced tube or the red one. But yeah, like I was saying, the red one was cheaper. So the shift grip, well, the ship, listen guys, you can do this like this if you wanted to. There's a reason why a lot of people aren't doing it like this though. And uh, you guessed her, cash. Both of these attachments with fine and raid status are going for well over 150,000 rubles right now. So for a lot of players that are trying to piece this together while trying to keep prices down, like most players don't have access to unlimited resources. But if they, if you do have access to unlimited resources, sure, you can build it like that. But most, most builds are going to be like not that. It's going to be something like this. Um, actually, I think that this, I think that this is probably the most cost efficient build for this or one of the most cost efficient because it's like under a hundred thousand ruble, that attachment and like under that's, it's not bad. I feel like this is a pretty good build. I'm going to keep this gunsmith part four, just in case somebody wants to ask me about it again.